How's it going guys, Daniel here, and today I'm going to compare the iPhone 12 mini against the Pixel 4a. Also, I'm going to throw in some of my Pixel 5 thoughts as well. Now keep in mind, I did do a comparison video of the iPhone 12, the regular iPhone 12 against the Pixel 5. So if you want to see that, click somewhere above up there. Now the biggest difference between the iPhone 12 mini and the regular one is basically the size and the battery life. So I'm going to do a lot more spending in those sections in this video. So for hardware, they're all really small phones, so very comfortable to hold. The iPhone 12 mini is of course the smallest one, so holding that phone is the most comfortable. You can easily reach around the screen without doing any crazy hand movements with your hands. The size of the Pixel 4a and 5 are really similar. I would say the Pixel 5 is just slightly bigger in the hands, but I would say that those compact phones are still small, but do offer a bigger or a good amount of screen space to see everything. So if you do want the bigger screen for um, content consumption, that one's the better one. But if you don't really care about the screen size and all you want is the basic comfortability, just to easily text and just tap around the screen, iPhone 12 mini is the winner. Now for performance, it's obvious that the iPhone 12 is gonna be the better one because it does have the latest and greatest Apple chip. Now for the Pixel, they're running on the budget processors, so of course they're not gonna be as fast, but if you're doing everything, um, everyday casual stuff, it's gonna be smooth, it's gonna be fine, so you're not really gonna feel a big difference between the two. So if you are a heavy smartphone user where you do a lot of multitasking, play a lot of heavy games and use a lot of heavy apps, then obviously the iPhone is gonna be the better choice. But if you are just a casual user and you do the regular everyday stuff that everyone else do on a daily basis, then I wouldn't say it's really worth it to spend so much more money to just get the extra power that you're not even gonna use. So I wanna say even though the Pixel 4a is a really cheap phone, it will do just fine for the casual everyday user. Now for battery life, the iPhone 12 mini is good, not the best. It doesn't beat out the pixels, but it is good enough for the casual user. Now I don't really play games and I just use the phone like any other person, just going through Instagram and watch videos on um, YouTube. And for just casual use, it will still last me throughout the day. The only time where I see a really big battery drain is when I'm really blasting out the music while I'm taking a shower. I would probably lose about maybe 10 to 15% doing that. But that's the only time where I see a big battery drain throughout my daily life. But even though I do that like almost daily, I still have enough juice to basically last me until I need to charge this phone by the end of the night anyways. So I would say battery life is just good enough for the casual users out there. So obviously if you do want more battery life, then the pixels are the way to go. Now moving to UI, there is no better software. It all depends on which one you like better. Now for iOS, some say that it's too restrictive. That's why they would head to Android, but you know, it really depends on personal preference. For me, I do like using both since they're both easy to use and after you install everything on each side, it really just works the same. Now for the camera experience, I do like the Pixel better just because I think it's easier to use and also the software just helps make the image look better. For portrait mode on a Pixel, it's super easy to use. All I have to do is point shoot and it does all the work for you. On the iPhone, I would have to move around until I see the effect happening on the screen and then I can take the picture. Now, since we're comparing all three phones, the only downside is the Pixel 4a that doesn't have the ultra-wide angle lens. The only time you can get it or the only way is you would have to pay more for the Pixel 5. Now, if you're taking pictures throughout the daytime, I think they all look completely fine. Now, on the Pixel 5, I think that's when the experience changed for me during the nighttime. Now, the biggest game changer for me is the auto night mode on the Pixel 5. Even though they do, they both do have auto night mode, it's just the experience of turning it on and off is just seamless on the Pixel 5 instead on the iPhone where it's like three steps. Also, if you do like taking portrait mode pictures during nighttime, then the Pixel 5 is going to be the better one for you. Now, the biggest advantage on the iPhone is the video. That's going to have the better one, the better quality. Everything about it is just better on video. So if you do love shooting video more, then just go for the iPhone. Now, in the end, all three phones are really good for the casual consumers, especially the 4A for a super casual person. That's perfect. I guess the biggest reason why people would pick the iPhone 12 mini is for the small screen size. And of course, it's just easier to reach around the screen and do everything faster. And that is the main reason why I gave up the regular iPhone 12 for the iPhone 12 mini. I know I would sacrifice the battery life, but I am a casual user. So for me, it doesn't really matter. So those are my thoughts on iPhone 12 mini against the Pixel 4a and 5. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more content. Do have the links down below if you guys want to check them out. Also, you can find me on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.